climate change manifests in a general warming of the planet and in extreme weather events, particularly, for example, heat waves. We're seeing more heat waves with climate change. And so when people experience excess heat, when people experience heat waves, it puts pressure on their cardiovascular systems, it puts pressure on their kidneys. And if we think about children, it's particularly harmful for them because they suffer from dehydration. There's suddenly been some change in public perception. We've seen a climate emergency declared in the UK government. We've had Extinction Rebellion on the streets. We've had Greta Thunberg leading school strikes. And we're having acceptance of that message rather than the large kickback we would once have seen. So I think the public now get it. This is a medical emergency threatening their lives, not just lives of grandchildren, but as we say in the report, lives of every child born now or born actually within the last 20 years. All of those children will be gravely affected. They're getting it. Now the issue is going to be, will that concern be translated into meaningful action? There is a way that we can respond to climate change that it turns out when you show a doctor, a nurse, a physiotherapist, a public health professional, everything you want to do to respond to climate change is just good for public health and all of the different pathways that we might want to head down to respond to climate change, um, they turn out to look like cleaner air, healthier diets, more livable cities. I really do believe that the scientific evidence is there now in the most convincing form we've ever had it. And we've measured it over three to four years to show that while we are making some improvements in attitudes, in awareness, there is so much more we have to do and the science tells us that we need to act over the next decade if we're going to get the direction of travel right for the next century. We can't wait till 2050. We certainly can't wait till 2100. We've got to be acting now if we're going to change the futures for our children and for their children. And that's why I'm optimistic about what we can achieve.